you guys doing today? I'm Coach Jeremy Hawkins, defensive line coach here at Eastern Kentucky University. Today I'm going to tell you guys about an EDD drill I do every day, press to peak tackle drill. Um, it's for my defensive linemen and just understanding that they're not going to be an open field tackle a lot. And if we are, we've got a problem. So for these guys, I'm going to teach them how to, you know, come out of their hips, come out of their vibe with violent hands, get big in their, their gap, declare their gap, all right, win their gap, their primary gap, and be able to make a tackle in their primary gap. Also be able to make a tackle in their secondary gap if the running back is committed to that gap. So today, press to peak tackle, EDD drill. We're going to teach you how to tackle defeating a blocker as a defensive lineman. Hope you guys learn a lot today. All right, this is my press to peak tackle. Um, what I usually do is I usually do this every week. Um, this is a, a deal for the defensive line where they usually have to tackle a, a running back or, or whatever the case may be, um, getting off a tackle. So what I like to do is I, I pull up my guys up. I get them in groups of three, all right? Defensive player, I'm always behind a defensive player. I like to see their hands and their hips are being violent and violent release off of it. I have an offensive player, which is the offensive line, um, and then I got a running back. Uh, what I would do is I'm on the back side of the defensive player, and I let the running back know if he's going to hit the primary gap or the secondary gap for the defense alignment. So we, we teach primary, secondary um, and, and, and up front and let these guys know that they their primary gap is their most important gap. So what I like to see out of this drill is, a, is violent hips, violent hands, press, long arms locked out, big in your gap, declare your gap, win your gap, defeat man on first. All right, if the running back's committed to your gap, you tear off right now immediately and tackle the running back in your gap. If the running back crosses face or he goes to your secondary gap, make sure he's committed in that secondary gap, and then you can come off and help violently arm over release to that secondary gap. All right, you make a play, tackle, cross the T, and drive for five. All right, and that's what we teach, press to peak tackle, just to make sure these guys understand that as a defense alignment, there's not going to be a lot of open field tackles. It's going to be a lot of tearing off blockers. It's going to be a lot of, you know, arm over, violent release, tackling a running back in your primary gap or your secondary gap. And that's what we're trying to teach in this press to peak tackle drill. Here we are on our press to peak tackle drill right here. As you can see, we're potted up. We got three guys in the group. We got our defensive player, that's 97. We got our offensive player um, that's on the other side here as an offensive lineman, and we have a running back, okay? And what I try to do is I, I, I let these guys know this is a, a, a way that you have to tackle as a defensive lineman. It's not going to be a lot of open field tackles for defensive lineman. You're going to be getting off a block, you know, tearing off blocks violently to make a tackle on the running back. And here I'm standing behind a defensive player to make sure that the running back understands which gap to go into. All right, right here, we're already shaded to our right as a defensive player right here, okay? That is our gap, that's our primary gap, okay? Our secondary gap will be the gap that's on the other side, okay? We help late in that secondary gap. So right here, what the first thing I wanna see is violent hips, violent hands from 97, you know, long arms, locked out, declaring your gap, beating your gap, and then I want to see a tear off, violent release, and a tackle, you know, fit and form, drive for five on the running back. And as you can see right here, he has good violent, violent hips, violent hands, tears off with an arm over tackle, all right, drives through the, drives through the, def, the, the running back, all right, for five yards, cross the T, drive for five, and he finishes it, all right. Violent hips, violent hands, Primary gap, I can tear off right now, arm over, drive for five, that's it, it's a good rep. The next rep right here, we're shade to the right. Now, this is when I told the running back to go to this secondary gap, okay? So now if he goes to the secondary gap, I want to make sure as a defensive player, as a defensive line, that that running back is 100% committed to that secondary gap before I leave my primary gap. Apparently right here, the running back didn't quite know that I told him to go secondary gap, all right? Sometimes that happens, but he does a good job at getting great hips and hands, you know, declaring his gap, digging his gap, tear off, arm over, fit form, cross the T, drive for five, okay? Same deal here with 91, all right? Great hips and hands, all right? 
press, P position, all right, good base, all right, you don't want to cross over step, you lose your power there, all right, and that's why we come back to it, that's why we come back to it later on with him. This is a deal right here, we're talking about secondary gap, this is a great secondary gap right here, press the peak, all right, great hips and hands, you're peaking in your, in your primary gap, you want to win that gap, arm over and make a tackle in your secondary gap, all right, I make my offensive guys hold, I make them do everything that the offensive linemen are going to do, so I want to see a great violent release, if the release is not a good release, a violent release, you got to get held, I want to see it in the drills. So I can know to go back to this kid, hey, look, you got to have a great violent release to get off those offensive linemen. They're not going to just let you go, all right? We come back to it. He does a better job at trying to get a violent release off of him. Another clip of it right here. We want to see great hips and hands. We do better at our hips right here. Arm over, vital release, all right, fit and form, drive for five. Now, this is a good one right here. Great hips and hands right here, all right. Getting knocked back, all right, winning your gap. Arm over, drive for five. Do a better job there. And this is one right here, you want to see more hips out of this guy. You want to see more hips. You see great hands is big in this gap. All right, he wins it. All right, he arms over after he's locked out. Fit four and drive for five. This is the one right here. 97 does a heck of a job right here. Coming out of his hips, hips, hands. All right, you're big in your gap. You defeated your man. You declared your gap. You understand this is my primary gap. The running back comes to your primary gap. Vital release. Drive for five, fit and form, drive for five. Come out of your hips right here, good by 17. Hips, hands, big in your gap, vital release, drive for five. We do a better job with our hips right there. We don't want to hop. That's one thing you want to keep, you, wanna, you don't want to hop, you want to come through your hips. You want your feet to be in cement, all right? Come through your hips and then gather step, don't hop. Better look at it right here. A little bit better look at it right here. Secondary gap, drive for five, cross the T, drive for five. So pre-snap reads here for us during this week was two man surface versus three man surface. Right here, feed the three, our defensive end. It's on a three man surface. He has a hip tight end with a pistol running back. So he knows that outside zone is coming his way. So right now, 53, the defensive end has the C gap, which is the crease between the tight end and the offensive tackle. Okay, once he, so he has great ball, get off and gets vertical, violent hips and hands versus the offensive tackle and great press to peak position, he's able to get in position to basically two gap the run, all right? So him two gapping it, he has the C gap, which is his primary gap. His secondary gap is the B gap. He violent release arm over to make a tackle in his secondary gap, which is a perfect technique for my press to peak tackle. Tackling drill, I do, I use this drill every, every week and he did it to perfection right here. Great ball get off, press to peak position, long, declare your gap, big in your gap. Press to peak position, arm over, violent tackle. Ball carrier is done, finished. How you guys doing, man? I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got some information that you could use later on as a D-line coach, as a younger or older D-line coach. If it's good information for you, I hope you got some good stuff. Now, teaching you guys this drill, you gotta make sure you do every drill with high effort, guys. Everything that you do is important. Get 1% better, each drill, each rep, and you'll be great. Thank you.
Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's have a great day today, guys. You know hey, perfection, man. That's all I ask for. All right? All I ask for is perfection. All right? 1% better today. We continue to get 1% better every day. We're going to be great. All right? Let's be great today and great every day. Yes, sir. Chris Marvel, 2-1-2. Chris Marvel, let's go.